What do all straight hitters do? Today, we're gonna to find out. Yes, we're gonna show you the three key things that all straight hitters do that you can take into your game. Hi, we're Piers and Andy from Me and My Golf. And if you are serious about improving your game this year, why would you not be? Hit that notification bell and the subscribe button to get notified on our latest videos because we 100% guarantee that we're gonna make you better. We do. Don't we? Yes. All right, Andy, look, everybody wants to hit the golf ball straighter. What's the first key? First key is ball striking. The best players in the world or the straightest hitters in the world are consistently finding about the center. It's about not center. always in the center, but it's about the center. And the question we'd like to ask you guys is, when you go and practice, how often are you measuring your strike? How often are you spraying the face? How often are you actually getting some tapes on there, looking at where you're striking the golf ball? And how well do you know when you actually miss hit it? Because this is a key component. And we always say you can't improve what you don't measure. So it's really important that you do this when you get to the driving range. And if you can do this, you're going to improve it. And if you can find that center a little bit more often, you're not only going to increase the ball speed, you're going to improve the accuracy as well. Okay, I'll tell you what, let's get you hitting one. Because obviously we know that we can use the strike spray and the tapes to, to measure this contact. But one thing we always ask our golfers to do is to take ownership of where the golf ball came from. So I'm going to get you to hit a shot. Yeah. And you're going to tell me without looking at the face where it came from. Okay, yeah. So you should be able to hit a shot and know exactly where that ball comes from. That was an absolute beauty, a little bit of draw. Now, even though that was an absolute beauty, it was, I've got to watch that, Pierce, because he's gone miles. I would have said that was just ever so slightly out the toe. Yep. Ever so slightly. I agree. But it was a beautiful shape, nice high draw, but slightly out the toe, because I can feel that club having a little bit of this sort of twisting action. And this, and this is the thing, This is as coaches, we're actually pretty good at noting what, where the strike was relative to the ball flight as well, because we've seen it happen a lot. But you too can get this much uh, tuned into your game, because if you keep understanding where it came from, and then seeing what the ball flight did, you're very soon gonna be able to get this. And I think the one thing that we do see, Andy, is you said earlier the best golfers, sometimes they're off center, but they know where they're gonna be and they know how to manage it, don't yeah, they? And it's not massively off center. The no. further away you are, generally the start direction and the curve tends to sort of lose control there. So just measuring it is really important and just having that awareness is key. Now, what helps us find the, the middle more often? What we're gonna really look at is what, one of the key things that the best players in the world do, and that's in the setup. Mm -hmm. Their setup is so solid and it's really conditioned to allowing them to really find the middle more often. Now, let's take a look at somebody like Lee Westwood, one of the most consistent golfers on the planet. He's one of the straightest um, hitters out there and one of the most consistent ball strikers. Now, if you look at his setup, he looks screwed into the ground. <laughs> he looks like you could run up and not push him over. He's really solid. And because of this, it means he can use the ground extremely well. It means he's balanced, which is another component for finding that center. And it really means that it's gonna be, there's not gonna be many compensations happening in his golf swing. And this is what enables him to find that sweet spot almost every single time. Yeah, yeah he's, as you can see, he is he is a golf athlete, no doubt about it. You've actually played golf with him as well, and he is, as you said, one of the straightest hitters for the last probably 20 years. Almost as straight as me, Pitts. Almost, almost as straight as you. But what does he do so well? Let's have a, let's de deconstruct his setup. Well, look at his setup here. Look at his lower body. He's really balanced. The weight is through the middle of the feet. It's not toes, not heels. It's through the middle of the feet. He has a slight flex in the legs. He hasn't got loads of knee flex, mm -hmm. Pierce, which we see in a lot of golfers. He's got a slight flex in the legs and he really looks solid with the lower body. Yeah. He looks really thick and solid with the lower body. And then from there, he's got a slight angle forward of the spine and his arms are just really nice and relaxed, hanging down very much underneath his shoulders. These are key things that if we apply in our own game, will make a huge impact on that strike. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, well, let's see you hit one. Let's see how balanced your setup is, how good your posture is. And generally, I would say that you look solid over the golf ball. I'm gonna really sort of think about Lee Westwood there. Again, again, legs for me with Lee, when I look at it, it looks rock solid. He looks like the, they're actually sort of screwed into the ground. So I've got Lee, Lee Westwood legs here, Pierce. <laughs> this is a valid point that you can actually have this image in your mind when you're doing this. Now, interesting on that one, that was a slight fade, but that was towards the heel. Yep. So I've hit that towards the heel again, the awareness, it's gone slightly this way. It doesn't guarantee I'm gonna hit it well, but it gives me the better, a much better chance of doing it. All right, so we have a question for you. Would you rather hit the golf ball 30 yards further or hit five more fairways around? Post down below. What would you rather do? 30 yards further or five more fairways? I would go um, 30 yards more down the fairway. <laughs> yeah, you can't I have would, that, you can't I have I would, that. 30 yards further. <laughs> you I can't would. have both. I'm so straight, Pierce. Oh you know? yeah, whatever. <laughs> really, I'm going really. 30 yards further all day long, and you know, because a wedge in your hands is going to be a lot easier than a five iron from the fairway. 
All right, so look, second key, what do we got? Okay, second key is, or before we get into the drill, <laughs> is shallowing the shaft in the downswing. So what a lot of the straight hitters do, you'll notice that as, as they get to the top of the swing, they all start with the lower body first, but as they start with the lower body, the shaft actually shallows. So the actual angle of the shaft, I'll exaggerate it here, shallows this way. And what that enables them to do is use their body in a better way in the downswing. So from here, creating this sort of this shallowing effect here where the club head almost moves more behind you in this way, instead of actually moving this way, as soon as we get steep or the club head wants to go this way, we can't really use the body. We'll end up sort of standing and rising up here, no rotation, and then a lot of hand action down through the bottom there, which we don't want. So mm -hmm. a key component for sort of setting our delivery to the golf ball is being able to actually get this club head working a little bit more behind the hands in the downswing to set up the next path. Creating that shallow. Now we want to use, obviously we use Lee Westwood for the strike and the good posture, but we wanted to use one of our students, Aaron Rye. Now Aaron, you've seen us do some stuff with him before, but this is a guy who's been top five in fairways hit on the European Tour for the last three years. 70% of fairways hit, oh you're right there, yeah. just damaged your shaft there. So I know you've got a drill in here which is going to help us obviously get this shallowing action. Yeah, so I've got a short alignment stick here. I'm just placing it underneath the grip here. And this is great for some uh, visual awareness of, of the golf swing. So I'm just gonna sort of position it there. I'm gonna make a backswing, and ideally this would point somewhere near towards the, the target line on the way back as we get sort of towards the top. Now from here, what we wanna really do is, as we start with the lower body first, really key that we do this, we're gonna feel as if the alignment stick or this red stick here now actually points down way in front of the golf ball. This is going to give you that feeling of that shallowing effect. Now you can cheat this, you can do this, but that's doing it with the body. What we want to make sure that we do is we keep our posture, keep our angles, start with the lower body and really feel as if we can get that uh, alignment stick pointing there. And that really, again, gets the club now more behind us setting us up for this okay. next part. This is a good point though, because this could happen. Just do that again, Andy, with the, with the club in there. Where would most people, if we haven't got the stick there, if, they just, if we just said to them, start with a low body, where could some people go from a steepness point of view? So if we, if we start with a lower body? Some people can do this. They can actually get the club steep and getting out in front. So it kind of becomes this disassociation thing, whereas you have got to work hard. You have to be mindful that when you start the downswing with your lower body, that you have to create the shallowness then in the downswing and not do what Andy's doing on those last three, which is steeping it out. Yeah, and I like this because you've really got that visual in front of you yes. here. that you Love can. It. Yeah, I'm going to focus on this. You're focusing yeah. on this end of the club, which is really good. It's hard to focus on that when it's behind you. Exactly. <laughs> so let me hit a shot here. I'm going to create that same feeling. This is something that I need to do a little bit more of in the golf swing. Yeah. So having that feeling there certainly creates the right sort of uh, imprint in my mind of what I want to achieve. So uh, this is great if you're someone who slices the golf ball. If you're on this, if you've clicked on this video because you want to hit the ball straight because you slice it, then this is a great fix for you. And so naturally, I really as a felt result, like I did it there. That was a beauty. Bit as of well. a draw on that one, actually. So for me, there, the I really felt I got that shallowing there. Very different motion to what I normally feel. I'll take that. All right. Before we get into this third tip, are these tips actually proving valuable to you? Hopefully, they are. Hit the like button if they are. Now, Andy, the third one. How are we going to finish this off? Okay. Well, the third one is getting open. A lot of people would love to be in this impact position where we see the best players in the world, certainly the straightest ones, where they've got these two cheeks visible here. Mm -hmm. A lot of hip clearance, and this is almost a byproduct of the shallowing. It's very difficult to actually get in that impact when the club gets very steep. As we've said, we start to stand up. So, the best players in the world, the most accurate players, as we've said, they all shallow it. As we saw, Aaron, he gets this shallowing here. And what this does, it now allows you to actually rotate the pelvis, rotate the hips here to get the club nicely on plane. And what happens as we continue to turn now, this really helps us open the hips. But what does that do to the club face? Well, this enables the club face now to be a little bit more passive because we've created the room to swing through. So the face here is still closing somewhat to the target line, but it's not an aggressive sort of release like this. No independent sort of hands and arms here. And we'll certainly see on Aaron when he swings through, we can see that club face nice and stable. There's a lot of hip turn, a lot of turn of the torso as well. And somebody else who does this extremely well, one of the straightest hitters ever is Jim Furyk. He has a very interesting backswing, but he creates so much rotation. You can see on screen here, so much rotation of the hips. And you just look at how much then room he's got for his arms 
and the club to be very passive on the way through. Well, it's, it's very interesting when you say Jim Fury candy because he is the straightest hitter on the PJ Tour at the moment of so this video for the 2020 season, even though it's curtailed. But he has been measured to have the least amount of forearm rotation through the hitting area. So again, that kind of, yeah, the more forearm rotation. If we go to the question we said about hitting it 30 yards further or five more fairways, that's five, yard, five more fairways. That's probably 30 yards further. Yeah. And so, anyone who's slicing the golf ball, we're not necessarily saying that this is the best drill for you. But if you are someone who's a little bit off kilter, then this could definitely help you. Definitely. So a great drill that you can do for this really is just taking your setup here as normal. And from here, we're just going to focus on keeping the arms really light. The grip pressure is really soft. We're not really using the hands here. Mm -hmm. We're going to focus on allowing the hips to turn. And as we allow the hips to turn, it's going to pull the upper body through. And the upper body here is governing the, the movement of the club, not the hands and arms working independently. So just some slow motion swings here, as you can see, I'm activating the lower body. That's pulling the upper body through. The club face is nice and passive. And you can see here, the shoulders and the hips are really clear on the way through. This is a great feeling then to take to the actual shot. And you can then blend it into some, some moves here when you incorporate that same feel. And we always talk about this, what you do past here or post impact in influences what you do before an impact. Yeah, that. I think just interesting you're saying there, you were finding a way of blending it in. So it wasn't a very static, open the, t the, the hips and then swinging through. You were blending it in. You started doing these mini swings and creating that hip rotation, the clearing of the hips, and obviously the passive arms on the way through. Okay. Now, I, I don't know whether you're gonna beat that last one. I will. And I would tell the truth if you're hitting bad ones here, because I'm really hope you do hook this one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I, I never I hook it, Pierce. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, right, let's get the same feeling. Pressure on that, for three out of three. Same feeling, lower body and the passive hands and arms here. Oh, a little okay. bit pulled that time. Really felt the clearance. That was actually probably the best strike. Yeah. The most powerful. Slightly turned over the club face a bit, but I really felt the hips work a lot more on that one. Got that feeling that I needed to get. All right, so let's summarize this. So strike, massively important. Keep testing it. Posture is often the gateway to getting good strike. Then we're talking about shallowing the golf swing. Make sure you look at some videos of yourself. Are you shallowing on the way down? And then obviously to finish off with, are you getting good open hip clearance, which is then stabilizing the club face because you don't need to be so flippy with your hands and arms. Yes, definitely. Now, if you are somebody who wants to hit the golf ball a little straighter and you slice the golf ball, we have a perfect plan for you a slice to draw plan which is four weeks that's seen some amazing res results so if you want to learn more and check it out click the link right down there we'll see you soon